Simon. Welcome to WEC TV interviews. The world would appear to be coming out of the GFC, the global financial crisis of 2008. But how is the energy economy looking? Well, to answer that question, why don't we ask North America's largest publicly traded engineering and construction firm, Fluor. We have with us the right man to ask about the medium and long-term trends in construction in the sector. He is Peter Oosterveer. He is the group president of Fluor. Peter, thanks for being with us. Pleasure to be here, Andrew. Peter, if we were to take a look at your order book uh, for plant construction, oil and gas, in the next few years, both short, medium, long terms, what kind of geographies are investing most heavily right now? And what does that tell us about the state of the industry? I think it's fair to say, Andrew, that the um, global energy economy is improving. Yep. Obviously, we all had the... Um, the impact of the global financial crisis sure. back in 2009, and it hit us all pretty hard, to be perfectly honest, but we're seeing significant improvements. Um, the recovery has continued. We see opportunities in a variety of regions in the world, and let me just start with the one which is probably most promising for yeah. a company like Fluor, and that's North America. So okay. the US and Canada offers tremendous opportunities, all driven by the availability of cheap gas. Pretty exciting sizable opportunities and with our position in the US we believe that we are excellently positioned to capitalize on these opportunities. Okay. Speaking perhaps longer term future, what of the emerging economies do you find the most interesting and exciting, the guys who down the line might be ordering plant from you? Yeah, so when you look at the energy space as a whole, fundamentally, yeah. it is a great space to be in. Okay. If you look at the energy uh, demand, it's going to continue to go up. Population is growing. So pretty much across the globe, we see good opportunity. But if I'll single out a couple which, in addition to North America, holds the biggest promise for us, then I have to, of course, uh, include Asia as well. Mm. We see great opportunities in Asia. So those regions uh, in Asia which show the biggest uh, GDP growth are the regions on which we naturally focus in order to, uh, to develop uh, a large uh, oil and gas type uh, projects. So for us that includes China, sure. that would include Malaysia, that would okay. include Indonesia, that would include India, and then we have a pretty good position in uh, Australia as well, which we'd like to continue to develop. Understood. Looking further down the line and perhaps taking your eyes off your order book and looking more into your crystal ball, what sort of emerging economies do you think will be coming online in the, uh, the longer term and will be uh, you know, big buyers of plant and infra. Yeah, so when you look at what we do, Andrew, worldwide, we have a presence pretty much in all regions in the world. Yeah. And so in addition to the countries I just mentioned, we have high hopes of opportunities in places such as Kazakhstan, so mm. Central Asia, um, India, uh, and then going south, uh, we particularly uh, enjoy or like to enjoy the opportunities we see in East Africa. So Mozambique, Tanzania offer great opportunities for us. We've had a presence in South Africa for 50 years now. Okay. Uh, we believe that we can ideally use that as a springboard to also grow our presence in, in, uh, in Mozambique and yeah. Tanzania. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so those are you know, promising, uh, promising regions. Latin America, uh, strong presence in Mexico. Uh, increasing our presence in Brazil, uh, focus on Argentina uh, and Colombia. So also there we expect to see uh, good opportunities. The ones which have not performed so well, to your second point of the question, uh, we still like Europe, Africa and the Middle East. Now the Middle East has continued to develop opportunities for us, strong presence too. Europe we're less bullish about, just don't see a lot of opportunities mm -hmm. in Europe. I'm sure uh, that's going to change, but the recovery is relatively slow. So we don't see uh, a lot of opportunities. So if you take it in the broader spectrum, the one and only region I'm probably not too bullish about is Europe. Other than that, we see great opportunities in many different places in the world. Got you. So just speaking to finish off, are you convinced that the world has indeed exited the 2008-2009 uh, GFC? Well, there's of course still uncertainties in, uh, in the world as a whole. Will the recovery uh, in the US continue? Will there finally be recovery in Europe? But in the bigger scheme of things, I think it's safe to say that we have ended that period which started in late 08, uh, 08 early 09, uh, the global financial crisis, which um, cut very, very deep in, in our, in our um, order book and in our um, uh, population as well. I'm convinced 
that we found the uh, light at the end of the tunnel and there will be more light at the end of that tunnel. Okay, and I'm hoping to see the light at the end of our tunnel because now you are our last interview today. Peter, thanks very much for being on My Wake pleasure. TV. My pleasure. Take care. Have thanks a good congress. Thank you. Okay. okay, well, have a good congress. That was Peter Ustavir of Flua. Please do keep watching. We've got more interviews, more information, more news, more features coming up soon on Wake TV.